we are heading down the road of uh, this is Marrickville Road and we are looking for another Filipino place which is Donut Poppy and I can see it across the street you can see that that's it's the one with the pink signage um, and that's owned by a Filipino couple I think um, they're the same people who brought Tita Karinderia to us so I'm gonna head over all right so Donut Poppy as the name suggests is a donut shop that specializes in donuts that have Filipino flavors like calamansi, ube, uh, and several others. So let's go and see what they have to offer. So here we are, it's very pink and even the shop is also full of pink stuff. Now they don't have any seats available inside so I decided to just get it for takeaway. They only have two tables with two chairs each and both were occupied so I'm just gonna have to um, dig in when I get home. Can you tell that I'm still very shy when vlogging outdoors? Right, so I'm finally home and I've got the two donuts that I bought from Donut Poppy in front of me. Now, this is not the calamansi donut that I remember, or at least not the one that I bought from their shop in Chippendale before. Um, the one that they had before was a cream filled donut. So there is no hole in the middle, the cream is inside and it's a calamansi cream. So for those of you who don't know what calamansi is, it's, it's a type of citrus. Um, I don't know if it's available in other Asian countries. I know that it's pretty common in the Philippines. We even had um, a tree back in our backyard for it. Now this particular flavor here that you see is they call it the calamansi and poppy seed. So instead of lemon, they use calamansi. Um, and that's what that looks like. So the dots that you see are the poppy seeds. Some of the purple that you see on top of it is from the ube that's right next to it. So yeah, it's not how I remember their calamansi one to be. The other one they call this the ube polvoron. Um, so as you can see, it's got that powdery, gritty texture at the top. Um, but it is also like a donut that just has glazing on top. Now, I'm obviously not gonna eat both of them <laughs> um, and finish it up. I'm just gonna try and taste them. So let's give it a go. I'm just gonna, there, so you can see it better. I don't know if this has, I was hoping that there would be some sort of like cream filling inside the donut, but there isn't. It's really just the donut with the glaze, or suppose it's a calamansi glaze. Mm. It does have a bit of that citrusy taste. But it kind of gets overpowered by the sweetness of the glaze as well. I don't, I don't taste the calamansi as much. Um, I prefer the older version that they had because that definitely tasted like calamansi. There is a tanginess um, in the cream that was in that um, cream filled donut that I still remember and crave. 
this isn't bad by any means, no. It's not. It's just different. Um, maybe if I had tasted this before I've had that cream-filled version, I might like this better. But because I have something to compare it to and I prefer the other one, I'm just not too sold on this. To me, it just looks like a little bit of citrus on top of an original glazed Krispy Kreme. You, the poppy seeds don't do anything. It's really more decorative. There's nothing, there's no taste that it adds onto it. If anything, it's probably going to get stuck in between your teeth and just give you that weird look, right? So I don't know. Um, I, the reason why I wanted to go to Donut Poppy was for that cream-filled calamansi um, donut. And this, because of that, is a disappointment. On its own, I probably would have liked it again if I hadn't had the previous one. Um, and if that wasn't the main reason why I wanted to go to Donut Poppy, this is not something that I would travel half an hour for to buy. If it's readily available, sure. But if I've got to take two buses to get to the shop to buy this, it's, it's not worth that effort for me. Let's try the Ube Pulveron. Now, for those of you who don't know, Ube is purple yam. Um, it's the cousin of taro, I believe. Now, hmm, okay, this one is also sort of like the donut just has some sort of like glazing on top. And it's spreading all over my table. So that's what it looks like. Um, I can see sugar crystals around it as well. So it looks like it had the same sugar um, glaze on top and then they've added the powdered ube. It's nice. I detect artificial ube flavor quite a bit, honestly. Um, and that's probably what makes it really purple. Um, because if it was just natural ube, it probably would be a little bit of a lighter, almost pinkish um, purple. Yeah, but the fact that this is very colorful purple, I can tell that um, there's quite a bit of food coloring and food flavoring in it. It's good though. Hmm. Would I buy it again? Yeah, definitely. Would I take two buses and travel half an hour to get there? Probably not. Um, in the, I would only probably get it if I am in the area or if they have a pop-up shop closer to me, but I wouldn't put in the effort and travel the distance just to have these donuts. They do have other flavor of donuts and I'm going to put the, their website in the description box so you can go ahead and have a look at that. Um, just to give you an idea, the calamansi poppy seed, the first donut that I showed you, is dairy-free and gluten-free. Oh, sorry, uh, egg-free. Well, is that what it, EF stands for? It says DF and EF. Anyways, um, that's $6.80 for this guy. And then the ube, I think that's $7 something. Um, yeah, so, oh, the ube pulveron is actually $8.00. I don't know if it's worth $8, to be honest. Huh. That's good to know. Hmm. So yeah, uh, the calamansi poppy seed is dairy-free and egg-free. It says that this does not contain any eggs or dairy, but the dough is fried in a non-vegan fryer. Okay, so if you're looking for, for vegan donuts, this is not it. I hope you liked this video and you found it helpful. Um, the next one that I'm thinking of doing is the one in Lincoln called Sizzling Fellow. So watch out for that.